Biomass is widely recognized as a zero-carbon renewable resource for sustainable valorization. Lecnocellulose in particular is widely available in nature, offering enormous potential for renewable chemicals, fuels, and materials. Lecnocellulose, primarily composed of cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin, resembles reinforced concrete in its structural complexity, which makes separation of its key components challenging. Cellulose and hemicellulose together accounting for approximately 50 to 70 percent of the total composition, have relatively uniform hydrophilic structures. In contrast, lignin, which constitutes about 15 to 30 percent, has a more complex hydrophilic structure. Utilizing lignocellulose as a renewable chemical feedstock presents a significant challenge due to the difficulty in effectively separating S3 components and converting them into valuable downstream products. In modern pulping and papermaking processes, cellulose pulp is prepared by removing lignin through chemical pulp cooking. However, during this process, lignin undergoes self-condensation, forming carbon-carbon bonds, which reduce its reactivity and hinder its high-value utilization. A recent breakthrough in catalytic separation and holistic lignocellulose utilization has been achieved by a team led by Dr. Feng Wang from the Dalian Institute of Chemical Physics, DICP, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Their finding is now published in Nature. Addressing the propensity of lignin to undergo self-condensation and form carbon-carbon bonds. The research team ingeniously leveraged this characteristic. They introduced a lignin derivative structurally similar to lignin and catalyzed their preferential aerylation with the lignin effectively inhibiting the low-value self-condensation of lignin. Consequently, the team achieved efficient separation of cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin. Utilizing the aerolated beta-04 effort structures generated in the aerolation products, the research team developed a novel catalytic pathway, achieving selective depolymerization of lignin in bisphenols for the first time. This method simplifies the conventional process of depolymerizing lignin into monophenols, followed by downstream cross-linking into bisphenols. Lignin-based bisphenols in this work can be used in the synthesis of thermoplastics and thermosets, offering potential replacements for bulk monomers such as petrochemical-based bisphenol A, BPA. Additionally, and results of the estrogenic test indicate a significant improvement in their toxicology safety than BPA providing excellent prospects for market application. The catalytic lignin aerolated fractionation, CLAF, for effective separation of the three key components in lignocellulose, is applicable to various raw materials. The cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin obtained through the CLAF can be used to produce value-added products such as high-purity dissolving pulp, hemicellulose sugars, lignin bisphenols, all of which have diverse applications in fields such as textiles, pharmaceuticals, food and healthcare, green chemistry, renewable materials, and more. This achievement is expected to propel green biomass refining technologies toward industrial applications and to facilitate China's green transition to a responsible major country with enhanced international influence, stronger capacity to steer new endeavors, and greater moral appeal.